There are stories in the Bible that are told when you're a child, but as soon as you're a grown-up, they no longer seem to show up. I guess grown-ups don't like action, and they find no satisfaction in these famous children's stories. Do they think they are too boring? How about David and Goliath? There a stone took down a giant. Orvin Jonah fled by sail, but was followed by a veil. And Noah's up, let's not forget a flood from God is kind of it. Daniel and the lions, this ain't God is sturdy. They're not in our superheroes, such as Holly Cut his hair, lots of dollar when the traffic all the blood on the fall of your goals. Yeah, I'm all free, you know, I rest of the show. So let's go back to the basics. Oh, was that supposed to be recording? What? Moses! Part the Red Sea. Red Sea. It's blue water. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back for another episode of Back to the Basics. As always, I have with me Gooba and Gertie, who are part of the TTT. That's the Time Traveling Trio. It's all so exciting. We are the first to travel back in time. This must be what Albert Einstein felt when he first introduced the theory of general relativity. <laughs> you mean Einstein. What? Well, you said Albert Einstein. It's actually Einstein. Ugh, Cuba. I think I know how to properly pronounce my childhood hero's name. Albert Einstein. Oh, well, that's not how his brother Frank pronounces it. Uh, Frank? Einstein? Frankenstein isn't Albert Einstein's brother. Albert Einstein was a real person. Dr. Frankenstein was a fictional character from a book. He wasn't real. Well, of course not. Thank you. Not until after the experiment. What? Pardon me, folks. Door was open, so I figured I'd just come on in and deliver this here package. Shook it a couple times on the way in, and I'm pretty sure it's broken. Although I did drop it, I'm almost positive it was broken before that. Think it broke when it fell off my bike. Oh, no. I totally forgot about her sponsorship. Before we closed down her social media accounts, Gertie got sponsored by Cat Treasures. It's a company that specializes in turning the chore of cleaning out kitty litter into a fun treasure hunt for kids. I think those were some of the prizes to hide in the litter box. That is just gross. Kinda glad I broke it now. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we have a... The name's Doofus, Doofus Rufus. Now, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't Doofus typically mean someone not very smart? Well, yes, which is why my birth name is Doofus, because my mama said, in my world, every day is opposite day, which means I am a genius. Like Albert Einstein. Is that Frank's brother? Exactly. Ugh. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for the package, but you must be off. We have a show to finish. Hey, why are you wearing a life vest? This isn't a life vest. It's my P-F-D. Uh, what's a P-F-D? That, my friend, is called an algorithm. <coughs> Acronym. It means personal flotation device. Have you ever heard of a little lady named Katrina? How about a fine gentleman named Harvey? Do they work here? Those are the names of not one, but two hurricanes that hit the Gulf Coast. And guess where you live? In America? Which has a Gulf Coast, so... Any moment, a hurricane could hit you, bam, right out of nowhere. That's not how hurricanes work. One minute, you're just taking a stroll down a street, then the next moment, boom, you're covered in 50 feet of water. Well, guess who's floating right to the top of the water? This guy with the PFD. Oh, Professor, I don't have a PFD. Ugh. 
We have plenty of warning time before a hurricane hits, so there's no need to be scared. Now, can you please leave so we can finish our show? A show? Well, what kind of show are you making? We time travel. Ah, that's quite enough, Cuba. <laughs> ah, out you go. All right, all right, I'm going fine. Don't tell me what the show's about. I've got more packages to deliver anyway. It was nice to meet you. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you, Rufus. No, no, Doofus, Rufus. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, finally. Now, there we be. Oh, Professor, do you think we're going to get caught in a hurricane? Gooba, you do not need to be afraid of a hurricane. We are told about incoming hurricanes days in advance, giving us plenty of time to prepare. Oh, I'm not afraid. It's, uh, it's Gertie. She's definitely worried. Ah, Gooba. Well, you see, God is in command of all things. Whether it is a raging hurricane or even a gentle breeze, God controls it all. Really? Of course. Did you know that there was a man that actually parted an entire sea through the power of God? What? That's incredible! His name was Moses! One of the greatest characters found in all the Bible! Gooba, I think we have just figured out who we're going to visit today! To the time machine! Checklist! Set the timer for Moses! Check! Set the time machine for a chicken! I know, Gooba, that may seem crazy, but it is one of the many domesticated animals that was most likely brought along when Moses led God's people out of Egypt. Check. Seatbelts. Check. I guess we both need to say this now. We, we will, will not intercede, intercede with, with the, the past. past. Well, that's surprising. You didn't say anything after that. Well, it's hard to. I don't know what intercede means. Ah, uh, well, let's go. Excited about seeing the parting of an entire body of water. <laughs> uh, Professor, why is everyone running around like chickens? Except, you know, all the chickens. Well, at the moment, the entire Egyptian army is behind Moses and the people of Israel. So they're scared because they're trapped between the army behind them and the Red Sea that is in front of them. But I thought you said Moses parts the Red Sea and they walk through. These people don't know that yet. It's only easy for us to know since we read the entire Bible. Well, it sounds like these people need to read the Bible more. Well, Gooba, we need to figure out where Moses is and maneuver closer huh? to him. Let me see if I can locate. to serve the Egyptians than that we should die here in the wilderness. Listen, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish today. For the Egyptians that you see, you shall see no more forever. Uh, 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 we are headed straight for the crowd. Do you see this chicken? Although odd and shed of all of its feathers, plus a mind that seems to be slipping away, it's still ready to follow God's command. This one is totally on Gertrude. Gooba, we're ready about that when we get back. We must all be more like this chicken. So gather your things and get ready to move. <laughs> to where? Back towards the army? Or hey, Oh, what about into the Red Sea? Gooba, will you please get Gertrude back in her seat? Whew, finally, back under control. Wait, I see Moses heading up the hill. 
He must be going to pray. We must go. Hurry up, Gooba. Hurry up. Oh, no, you don't, chicken. Let's get you back with the others. No! Of course this would happen. <laughs> Hello, Professor. I've got another package. Must have fallen off my bike before I delivered the last one. This one happens to be broken, too. Still not my fault, though. Just must be an entire batch of bad packages. Hello? Anyone there? But Einstein, we can't see anything. <laughs> Moses is probably up on the hill at this very moment, standing up after praying to God. He's lifting his staff and raising his hands towards the Red Sea with the power of God running through him. The very water listens to his command. Splitting apart and creating a tri pass across the Red Sea and over to the other side. Maybe if we tip our coop over the side of the wagon, it'll break. Hold on! Ha! 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 Here we go! Woohoo! Uh, was your goal to make things worse? No! <laughs> Professor! Goober? You guys in here? I just need a signature for this broken package. I also need a signature for that last package. Must have forgot about that. Oh, and I'll need one more signature saying that I was not the one that broke them. Be right back, the TTT. -T -T. Well, what on earth does that mean? <sighs> Didn't I pick something larger? Like, like, like a donkey. Oh, there are no donkey coops. Instead, I chose a chicken. And now we are stuck watching pigs, pigs of all things roll around in the mud. Ah, such majestic creatures. Oh God, why does it seem I always miss all the important moments and I am left to dream and reminisce of things now left unknowing. Am I on the right path as I fumble along? Can you give me a sign if I'm doing this wrong? Stuck in a crate with some pigs. This in a chicken, I say. Foul life streaming to kids. Another story I miss. <laughs> oh God, to you I pray. The professor, he doesn't seem okay. And I would like to say something nice to make it pain. They fumble out of my mouth Look at that baby pig He's got mud on his snout Stuck in a crate with some boots They're cute as I can resist Oh, wish I could give them a kiss But chickens do not have But wait, maybe I'm right to be here now. Look at his smile over the side. Oh, hey, I think he's good. He must have seen that piggy eating his food. I must be on the right path. No words did I need to say. Even showing up. Just the aftermath. If I did speak, they'd probably be wrong anyway. We owe it all to you. Thank you, God. Shall we do it in unison? What's unison? Cause we're stuck in a grave with some fear. That 
kuzaleto vitu hai Whoa! We just rolled into a hallway. Maybe we're taking a bathroom break already. <sighs> Kids. We aren't going to pit stop all of these people, Gooba. What are you talking about? See, it in the hallway? It's a wall of water. We can actually see the wall of water. The mission is a success. <laughs> it is? Even if we're stuck in pig slap? I feel like I missed something. Well, our goal was to see how God is in control of all things, Gooba. In using the power of God, Moses just parted the Red Sea, and they're looking at it. Wait a second. These blue walls are the Red Sea. Where's the red? Honestly, people, we have got to get better at naming things. Let us be off! Boys and girls, we made it. And so did Moses and God's people. They crossed the Red Sea on dry land, and as Pharaoh and his army tried to follow them, the path across the sea closed, helping them to escape. So, join us next time for another adventure on Back to the Basics. I think Gertie should be the one to clean off the pig slop from the time machine. She's a bird, Gooba. And a dunce bird at that. Okay, then you can. You chose chicken. What? My Gooba? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm old. I can't hear what you're saying. Fine, I'll do it. Maybe I'll paint it blue and call it the red time machine. Sheriff's Department. Okay, listen to this. I have verified proof that our world is about to be taken over by, wait for it, robots from the future. They call themselves the TTT. I need you to send a SWAT team, the police, a firefighter, an ambulance, an airplane, a helicopter. A submarine! Is that you, doofus? Uh, no, 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 it's someone else. Someone really important. I'm so important, I can't tell you my name right now. Doofus, we already said you can't call here anymore. It's also your second robot invasion call. Technically, I could still be right about that first one. It only takes one refrigerator rising up and attacking its owner before that robot revolution starts, and then you will be calling me to apologize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Goodbye, doofus. No, no, wait. I, I said goodbye, doofus. Oh, well, I guess it's just up to me, then. <laughs> <laughs>